Hey guys, this yin practice is short and sweet. So let's just dive right in. We're gonna start in seated butterfly. We'll take the soles of the feet together. If you have two blocks close by, you can place them underneath your knees. If you like some elevation for the hips, you could have a blanket underneath the hips. We'll start to hinge forward, just walking the hands forward. You keep the spine long, or if you like to start to round through the spine, you can let the chin come in towards the chest. There's no grip or pulling or striving with the hands. I often like to flip my palms as a gentle reminder of of surrender or release. And we'll tune in right away to the breathing. Just allowing the breath to move in and out of the nose. Relaxing through your face and your jaw. Relaxing through your neck and your shoulders. And on your next inhale, we'll slowly start to restack the spine, coming all the way up, just letting the shoulders and the head to land. You can let the right ear come towards the right shoulder. Letting the head roll forward, chin in towards the chest, rolling all the way over so then the left ear comes towards the left shoulder. And then we'll bring the head back to center, leaning back onto the hands, 
bringing the knees together and then letting the knees just fall from side to side. And then we'll take our right leg out in front of us. We'll bend the left knee. And we're gonna take this half butterfly. Again, you could have a block underneath the left knee. You could have a blanket rolled underneath the right knee. And we'll turn our torso towards the right leg, allowing ourselves to fold forward Relaxing through the right foot, the right leg. Again, the hands might flip, palms facing up as that gesture of releasing, surrendering to the pose. Noticing where your mind is right now. So you've committed to this half an hour of yin practice as we get into the deeper layers of connective tissue and fascia. Creating flexibility in the body. But are we here fully in the mind? Are we fully present? With the help of the hands, we'll just raise the torso slightly. So we're gonna change the target here. So allowing the right arm to come to the inside of the right leg, instead of targeting the back of the body completely, we're gonna open the chest up towards the sky or the ceiling. So now we're getting into the lateral side left lateral side of the body. Of course, continuing to get into the hamstrings, the calves, the extended right leg. 
So with that right arm inside the leg, the left arm can be reaching up and over towards the foot. You can make this more passive by bending the left elbow and hand resting on the neck. Very normal to be feeling quite a sensation through the lower back, especially the left lower back and left hip. So as long as it's not painful, just breathing, just being present with whatever's coming up in the body, whatever's coming up in the mind. We'll slowly press our way up. There's never any rush to get anywhere in this practice. Just slowing down. Use your hands to bend the right knee. And leaning back on the hands, just letting the knees fall side to side. And we'll take half butterfly on the other side, extending the left leg, right sole of the foot comes in towards the left thigh. You'd have a block underneath the right knee, Support under the left knee. And we'll turn our torso towards the left leg, taking our time, hinging at the hip, coming forward. You might not come very far forward at all. And that's okay. Just finding the edge and backing off and only going as far as what's comfortable in your body. Your body's gonna let you know if you've gone too far or too deep too quickly, because you'll notice that you're starting to tense or the body starts to grip as a way of resisting going deeper. So as we hang out in these shapes for three to five minutes. You notice that over time, the body will let you know when it's okay to go a little bit deeper. Thank you. 
so slow. Just bring the torso up slightly so we can bring the left arm to the inside of the left leg. And I didn't mention this on the other side, but if you do have a block, you could always place the block to the inner part of the left leg to place your elbow there. And then inhaling, lengthening the spine, exhaling as we twist the chest up towards the ceiling. You could reach that right arm up and over. You can bend the elbow and just let the right hand come to rest on the neck. Imagining that with each breath in and out, we're combing through all of the intercostal muscles, all of those little muscles between each rib, each of the ribs of the rib cage, so that we can create more space for the lungs to expand on the breaths in. And slowly rebuilding the spine coming up. And just roll out through the neck, roll out through the shoulders. Trying the left knee in, right knee in. And then again, letting the legs fall from side to side. And to counter all of the forward folding that we've just done, we'll come into a Sphinx pose. So coming to lay on our bellies, just facing the front of our mats. We're gonna take our elbows right underneath the shoulders. You could have your legs wide apart or close together. If being up on the elbows feels 
too intense for the lower back. You're welcome to let the elbows wing out to the sides and your forehead rest on the hands. It's still a wonderful back bend. Allowing yourself to relax fully through the feet. And the legs relaxing through the glutes and the lower back we're compressing the vertebrae of the lower lumbar spine Closing the eyes if they're not already closed. Turning the awareness inside. Noticing all of the sensations in the body. Gently lowering down. And just stacking your hands, letting your forehead rest on your hands. our hands to the outsides of our ribs to help press us up and back into a wide-legged child's pose. Just letting the arms reach out in front of us and your head resting on the mat or a blanket. Inhaling to lift, 
and we'll shift the weight of the hips over to one side, allowing the feet to come out in front. And we'll come down to lay on our backs. Drawing the knees in towards the chest, rocking side to side, massaging the lower back. We'll bring the arms out into a T, and then we'll just gently and lazily let the knees fall to the left. You can turn your head to the right. Just a short twist. Just ring out the spine before we move into Shavasana. And drawing the knees back to center. Letting the knees fall over to the right. to center and we'll settle in for Shavasana you could let the legs come out really wide the arms out by your sides I'm just letting the eyes close shoulder blades wiggle around so they're flat on the floor Allowing the bones to feel so heavy. Effortless head, effortless neck, effortless shoulders and belly. Effortless pelvis, effortless legs. Effortless hands and feet. Releasing all muscular effort. Start to move your fingers, your toes, roll out the wrists and the ankles. Take a big inhale as we reach the arms up overhead, reaching through your fingers down to the toes. And sigh it out. Ah. And bend the knees. One more hug. And we'll roll over onto one side. Pressing yourself all the way up. Coming to a 
comfortable seat. We'll bring our hands together at our heart center, tall spine. And thank you for, for joining me uh, for this yin practice. It's so wonderful that you've taken this time to take care of you. So the more you take care of you, the more you're able to take care of everyone else that you love in your life. Namaste, friends.